AIDS epidemic and your training in it on today appropriately is World AIDS Day. You went into nursing, became an AIDS specialist 30 and a half years ago from now. The first documented AIDS cases were made public. Has the world come along in leaps and bounds to dealing with this pandemic? I think there's been a lot of progress in that in some nations, even in Zimbabwe for instance, and in nations like Thailand and Uganda, there's been a reduction in new cases because people are starting to hear the prevention messages and starting to listen to them and put them into practice. But there's still a huge polarization in the world. If you're in the global north, you have free access still to um, antiretroviral therapy. You have free access to good infrastructure, good health care, etc., etc. And I would say that attitudes to people living with HIV, it's become much more a chronic disease that can be handled. And in fact, in the global north, people living with HIV are living for much longer and in fact could live the duration of their lives, they think, because of the antiretroviral therapy. That's not a cure. The, the ARVs are not a cure. Um, they just put the, the virus on hold. But in the global south, there is still there's a long way to go to get antiretrovirals um, available to all and not just the antiretroviral therapy but very much the infrastructure that needs to be there for people to have it so good health care services good educational services and that people can have um, access to lifestyles where they don't have to put themselves at risk I think there are still a lot of people acquiring HIV and that because they're living, taking risks because they're almost in a situation where they have to, for instance, a woman who is so poor that she feels the only thing she can do is to sell her body in order to be able to get HIV, in order to be able to um, get money for her children's school fees, for example. There's still big imbalances in gender and so um, there's still a lot of discrepancy against women and in some countries where there is a lot of HIV um, women are still quite oppressed and don't have a choice for their lives and, um, and that extends into the area of sex and sexuality as well so they become used so I think in some respects, yes, there has been progress. Um, but in other respects, I think there is a long way to go. And I still think there is a long way to go in terms of the church's response. I think the church could still be doing a lot more. Um, as, as you know, I'm now I set up the Bethany Children's Trust um, back in 1999, and we have been working with churches, mobilising churches to care for people living with HIV disease. We also um, care for orphans, we mobilise churches to care for orphans um, and street children, children affected by war, children living with disability and in certain nations we're caring, um, mobilising a response of the church to children who are accused of being witches but all those children, those categories of children, children on the streets, children affected by war, children who are disabled, they are all at risk of HIV still in the nations that we're working, which is in Congo, in Zambia, in Rwanda, in Togo. We're still, um, we're still encountering high numbers of people seroconverting to HIV and it really affects the children so obviously there's a real task to train children and youth in God's pattern for life and living in um, life skills and behavior that is based on um, God's blueprint for life if you like which leads to healthy and good relationships which leads to good and healthy communities and yet the response of the church, I think, is still dragging, if I'm honest. Um, far too often, churches are more concerned with choir practice than getting into the communities. To me, we are called to be the hands and hearts 
of Jesus Christ, the voice of Jesus in our communities, how will people hear, how will the people encounter him if not through us? Because we have the spirit of Christ in us. And it says in Ephesians that we are the body of Christ. If we are not operating in our communities, then it's almost as though he is not operating in our communities because that's the way he has chosen to work.